and I thought I was going to do a get ready with me and then I thought uh, I just I'm just not up to it so I got ready and I thought I would do a makeup of the day how's that I went a little crazier than I normally do <laughs> today on my all my makeup but um, I'll show you what I did the first thing I did was I washed and moisturized my face of course then put my phone away here then the first thing I did was put primer on and I used this is almost gone but I used my Ulta um, matte prime and that is almost gone a couple more times maybe is all but I really 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 like it I I wouldn't mind uh, repurchasing that at all I mean that was a sample but I wouldn't mind getting the regular size of that at all and then I used my Ulta Demi Matte Foundation Broad Spectrum SPF 20. It's oil free, fragrance free, and paraben free. This is one fluid ounce and it is in classic ivory. And I think it matches me pretty darn well. Classic ivory or even light ivory um, is really good for me. Okay, so the next thing I did was um, I used the same uh, brow mascara as I've been using all week. I love this brow mascara. This is the Ulta Brow Tint in Light. I know Lulu you said you had it in medium. Um, I think light is pretty darn good for me. I think you know my I just follow my natural brows which this one is a little misshapen because I, I was in a pretty bad car accident and and you know so I got part of it shaved off but um, I need to go have them done but you know how that goes. Anyway, this one here is in light, and it's got an itty bitty tiny spoolie on it, and it does get a little gooky. Ouch! It does get just a little bit goopy at the end. You have to be careful, and I always use a regular spoolie brush afterwards anyway to kind of brush my brows. So that's okay. So then I went and did my eye makeup, and I used my Morphe. 35, you know what, I was telling the girls last night, um, we were chatting, and I was telling them I had the 35O. It is not. It's a 35N. I was sure I had the O palette, and I have the N palette, 35N. And this is what it looks like. It's beautiful. It's got so many pretty colors. It's got purples, um, lots of neutrals. Lots of neutrals. Pinks, purples, and neutrals. What I used today was, let me think here. Top looks pretty, but I used this for an all-over base. I went between, I used this for transition and in the outer V. I used this on my eyelid. So, and then I just, I blended them together and then I went back and I, I did them again. Um, I will show you once I'm done showing you everything else. But I hardly ever grab this because I don't know, it's just, it's right in front of me. I don't know why I don't grab it more often. But anyway, then I used my, um, this used to be one of my favorites. And something is the matter with it terribly. I'll show you once again, once I get done showing you everything else. This is the Volume Accelerator Mascara with... AVEC Volume Boosting Complex by, who's this by? Rimmel. And it doesn't, it says Extreme Black. And this is what it looks like. I'll show you the, but I'll get right up here and show you what I, what I mean. Can you see all that goop and gunk on there? And it's so hard to get off. But it's got a very unique um spoolie you know it's it's i think this end is is to get better into the inner corners and really it kind of bugs me um i don't not necessarily in love with this wand plus it is it has gotten so goopy my my lashes are a clumpy mess and i will zoom in close onto my eyes and show you here in a sec but then i used um i thought i would go ahead and i used a rimmel Exaggerate, exaggerate waterproof eye definer and this is in pure plum 
This is what that looks like. Um, I used, I, I went, I even did a, a top line, but um, don't look too closely at that one because this one here I got a little bit too high. But um, I used it on the bottom. Oh, also I used some of that purple on the bottom, that purple eyeshadow on the, my bottom lid. And then I used um, this on my bottom, and this sucks for a bottom eyelash. Um, first of all, it won't go in your waterline. But even, you know, down onto my skin, it's just, it's horrible. I, I don't recommend this at all. But I'm going to get in close on my eyes here. Okay, so let's see if I can get this. Can you tell how clumpy my lashes are? That purple is beautiful. Okay, so then for blush. Where's my blush? I use the Lorac Pro Petal Pink. And this is a powder cheek stain. And that's what it looks like there. Just a very pretty pink. And for highlighter, I use Physicians Formula Natural Nude. And that must be the name of it. Natural Nude. Shimmer Strips. All-in-one custom nude palette for face and eyes is what it says. But you open it up like this. And it's broke here. It's supposed to be shut like this with the glue come apart. But I just swirl everything together. And there's my highlight. Buddy, get out of there. It's going to knock that camera over. So for my lips, um, I, did, I was going to use a Marc Jacobs red today. But I thought that would kind of clash with my lips or my, my eyeshadow that I decided to use. So I'm going to use, I used my Makeup Revolution Liberty Matte, and it looks like this, kind of a uh, MAC-esque bullet. Looks like that. Looks exactly like it does on my lips. Very pretty purple. And then um, I went over my whole face with the Bodyography Powder. And it's a little bit dark, but um, I use it really lightly, so it's just to set everything. Oh, concealer. I use the L'Oreal Visible Lift Blur Corrector and Concealer, and you have to be careful with this because it comes out in a bunch. <laughs> Excuse me. And then I used, I, I should show you, I, I did use this for my foundation. It worked like a dream. And I used this one, the smaller one, for my concealer and actually I could use a little bit smaller one yet for my concealer because it's still you know a little bit big but um, it did work just fine work just fine but I'm gonna um, have to look and get the one smaller size for this one all right so that is my get ready with me I've got a bunch of stuff I'm sorry I'm gonna be um, pre-filming a, a lot of videos today and so I'm gonna have the same clothes on I do apologize for that and I'm really sorry about my hair. I cut my own bangs today. I decided to, I was going to cut them, um, at least now, because my my forehead is so dang high. I really do need bangs, and here I am lifting them off my face. But I cut them, and I'm going to have to go and get them cut because I think I screwed them up really bad. <laughs> they looked really bad. I could not get them straight for nothing. So um, I think I'm going to have to go get them cut somewhere. Oh well. So I'll probably do that um, this week sometime. I've got until Monday off and then I work Monday evening and then I've got another week off. I went to my my job today to make this video longer. I'm sorry about that. To um, check out the POS system. You know, it's not what you think. It's not piece of shit. It's point of sale. <laughs> it's one of those um, computer screens where you just push buttons and like if they want a margarita, you push margarita. Um, do they want it blended? You push that. Do they want Jose Cuervo? You push that. You know, stuff like that. Um, and then it tells you the prices and 
all that. Well, I got some news that I wasn't real happy about. I'm only going to get 32 hours, which is considered full time, but it's still not 40 hours. I am not happy about that once whatsoever, but it's still a lot better than what I'm doing now. Um, plus, those 32 hours, is it's going to be weird. I'm going to have to work until midnight during the week and 2 o'clock in the morning. I'm 60 years old. What the frick am I going to work until 2 o'clock in the morning in a bar for? You know, I thought when when I got hired, she told me 1030. Now I guess we're going to have to stay till close. So, you know, and I can just see, I can really just see that those nights until 2 o'clock, if there's nobody in here, she's going to say go home. Then I'm going to lose hours. So I'm a little little nervous about this. Of course I haven't started yet. I don't know how it's going to go. It might be way different than I thought it was going to be. But I And it's just my nerves working at me. I do that all the time. I always think of the worst possible situations. You know, that's just me. So... We will, we will just have to see. Also getting ready for a rummage sale. I'm going to sell, try to sell a bunch of my makeup and my skincare and stuff that I do not use. It is just a cluttered mess around here, so I'm going to try to get rid of it. If I don't sell it, um, I'll try to maybe swap some of it. If I can't swap it, I'm going to give it away. I'll just donate it to Goodwill or something because I don't want it here if I'm not going to use it and I can't get rid of it. So anyway, um, I will see you in my next video. I've, like I said, I'm pre-recording tons of them today. So we'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.